Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Well, Gavin Newsom staved off uh, recall, which I'm not in favor of the recall process in California because someone with 4% of the vote could have become the governor. I don't think that's right. I think you, I don't like Gavin Newsom. I did not vote for him. I don't vote for Democrats or Republicans. So, um, but he got scared that he was going to lose, right? He stopped giving fracking permits, which he gave 24 fracking permits last April. And like the heart of the pandemic shutdown, he was giving out fracking permits, just so everybody knows who that liberal hero is up in Sacramento. And we've been talking a lot on this show for, for student debt forgiveness and, and free college in California, which is the fifth largest economy in the world, in the world. And used to have free college, used to have like next to nothing college. There was this big piece of legislature and Gavin Newsom, now that he's still governor for a year, just vetoed it. That would have helped out uh, over 100,000 Californian college students. And basically he just crippled this. They were trying to expand the financial aid in California. And he, and he crushed it. Don't forget this, you guys. Vote this guy out and don't vote for a better progressive Democrat. Do not vote for these two corrupt parties. If you're a registered voter in the state of California, don't forget what he just did to you. Are you a college kid? Because here's what he just did to you. Gavin Newsom vetoed the most consequential legislation to college financial aid reform in a generation. What that means for California students, for California's higher education system, the seemingly endless summer of good budget news came to a screeching halt when Gavin Newsom vetoed the most consequential legislation to college financial reform in a generation. AB 1456 won't become a reality rebuffing a legislature that unanimously supported the legislation, which means the state representatives in the state legislature, all their constituents, everyone in California is like, we need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. College tuition is already way too expensive. It would have increased by about 150,000 the number of community college, Cal State, University of Cal, and private college students eligible for the Cal grant, the state's chief financial aid program. So they would have been giving more financial aid to more people. An educated populace is good for a democracy, but America does not have a democracy. We have a kleptocracy run by oligarchs and the oligarchs don't want a well-informed populace. If the electorate is well-informed and well-educated, they're not easy to control. Look how easy it is to control, get Americans to fight with each other. Get Americans to believe whatever. Oh, masks don't work. How many people think the earth is flat? I mean, it's easy. When people aren't educated, they're, they'll buy anything. Let's break down. There was a Twitter. There's a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of organizations on Twitter that were very critical of it. This is Cal Matters. Um, it would have topped off a banner year for legislators who for years sought to reduce the cost of college. This was a game-changing bill. He voted it down. Without it, they, they lose out on... $1,648 a year while in community college and free tuition at Cal State or, U or UC school. Over 110,000 students at community college would have become eligible for the Cal grant if it was signed into law, but he vetoed it. The state legislator said yes. One person got to veto it, the governor. I mean, I wouldn't be happy if Larry Elder was the current governor. He would have vetoed this too, by the way, just, just so we're clear. <laughs> Larry Elder would have absolutely vetoed this and said, you're going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. This is Gavin Newsom, your liberal hero. But gee, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, what's going on in California? What's going on in California? I'm going to show you this tweet from a couple months ago. The two Californias.
the two Californias. A tale of two Californias. On the left are just the streets of San Francisco and Los Angeles. On the right is a big Democratic fundraiser. We have in store for later. But for now, the question was asked this morning about a mass control. Oh, look at that nice food. And then look at all those people living in tents. Nancy Pelosi speaking in the background, a bunch of rich people. This is a DCCC lunch discussing critical issues for everybody in Napa Valley, like the richest part of California. And then there's people living in squalor. This is just San Francisco. LA has this worse than I've ever seen. I was just talking to a friend of mine in New York City he's like, who, who hasn't lived in New York City in a couple of years and just is like, this is the worst he's ever seen. Sacramento has this. San Diego has this. Riverside, San Bernardino has this. They're trying to reach, and she's talking about reaching young people. You mean all the young people that are facing a vic, you know, eviction or having to work three jobs or are those the young people you want to reach nancy pelosi those are the young people you want to reach well it's unbelievable so that's what gavin newsom is doing <laughs> yay we, we don't have larry elder but then this is what this is what you get with the democratic party you cannot reform that party from within and we're going to keep playing this dumb game. Get, vote out the Republicans. Vote in the Democrats. Then vote out the Republicans. Vote the Republicans. These two corrupt, awful parties. I've lived in California for 25 years. I've seen Gray Davis. I've seen uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've seen Brown. Jerry Brown. Now Gavin Newsom. Brown kind of was okay, but Brown, you know, when he was running for president in the early nineties was for Medicare for all. And then as governor, he's like, Oh, I'm against it. He really likes single payer healthcare. And now he doesn't want to do it. The democratic party in 2017 voted down single payer healthcare. The Democrats control the state assembly. They control all the major mayors. I mean, the Los Angeles, San Francisco, the two biggest cities. They get all this rich fund fundraising money from Napa Valley and Silicon Valley and, and Hollywood, right? Those are three giant industries, the wine, tech, and entertainment. Those are three massive industries. That's why California is the fifth largest economy in the world. So there's no reason there shouldn't at least be, there should be just free college in, in California for in-state residents, but, but we can't even, we can't even get tuition aid. So if you're one of the 150,000 people that could have benefited from this bill that all of your state legislatures approved, but governor Newsom said, no, you better remember this next November. You better vote his ass out and don't vote in another dumb Democrat or some shithead Republican like Larry elder vote in someone from like the people's party. That's what needs to happen. That would transform California. The Democratic Party doesn't care about you. They just don't care about you. Gavin Newsom is a rich kid. Just like Nancy Pelosi. They don't care. You're struggling that you could have used that 1600 bucks to get financial aid to get you through college. You got to go to a community college or a, or a state school because that's all you can afford. Well, he could have made it better or easier for you, but it's going to stay hard. Yay, the Democrats. They're so much better. All right. Shave your knuckles for justice. Boom. Hey, everybody. Ron Placone and I had to cancel all of our October tour dates because of uh, COVID, the Delta variant, all that. But we still have shows in California. Ron and I are doing San Francisco, September 11th, Sacramento, September 12th. 
Burbank, September 15th. And Lee Camp and I are doing live government secrets September 18th in Los Angeles. All those tour dates are at GrahamElwood.com. All of the venues are requiring proof of vaccination. Dynasty typewriter on the 18th is also saying you can do negative COVID tests, but check with the venues for what their policies are. I have no control over those policies. Go to GrahamElwood.com. Sorry, we can't come. This sucks. We'll be back hopefully next year. But if you're in California or want to make the trip, come out to these shows. These are probably the only shows we're going to do this year. Thank you.